Hello everyone, Manithrall here, and welcome to the weekly update video. Now this week we have the horrors of, uh, yeah, mostly harmless, being completely reworked. We're talking new drops, new design, everything. So first up, let's show you the jungle one, which actually looks incredibly good and incredibly creepy. So right there is the new look of the cave or the jungle horror. It's kind of like this weird mixture of ape and human gremlin kind of thing. They are actually very hideous. Well done, Jaggets. Uh, do keep in mind that uh, Mostly Harmless will soon probably be getting a little bit of a graphical overhaul as well. Uh, considering Pieces of Hate is soon coming out. <clears throat> so this is... These are not the only things that are going to be getting reworked. Okay, so now... We're going to head up to the actual dungeon. And I might have to go to the bank, because if I remember correctly... I'm going to need the... A light source... All right. Yep. So I need to go get my Witchwood icon before I head in here. Now, if you guys are familiar with the channel, while I'm doing this, I'll explain something that I actually recently did. Uh, not too long ago, I actually posted a video that's something different. Uh, I posted a video not that long ago about, you know, the new types of fish from the previous update and saying about if they are worth it or not. So, uh, in the long run, I don't know what those rock fragments are for. <laughs> Might be an Easter egg. Uh, but the one thing I'm very adamant on is... Uh, not posting information that is incorrect. And if I do post information that is incorrect, if somebody points it out to me or if I find out myself, you know, however it may come to light, uh, that I will actually pull the video regardless. And I will pull the video and I will update the information and then re-release the video um, and try to make it, you know, more accurate and better. Okay, so I need a Witchwood Icon, actually. And while I'm here, let's actually get a light source while I'm at it, too. So I'll get my Sears headband. This will actually give you a chance, too, if you forget how to get here, about, you know, how to get back. So, Ooh, sorry, I had an ear itch. All right. So we'll trade with him. I go to the Slayer Master for any purchases I may need because, well, he's right there. Okay, so which would icon? Use the Ecto file. Oh, uh, look, there's a. Uh, hmm. One of the penguins on World 89, right by Kenefis. Alright. So yeah, you just go back through here and go back to Bill Tech's boat. There is other ways of getting there if, you know, if you still have the teleports and whatnot. Uh, but for those who are curious, because these kind of areas are slowly, slowly changing. So I like to kind of take the scenic routes lately to remember these kind of moments. All right. Because this area is definitely probably going to be getting reworked. I can't see this getting a brand spanking new quest and not getting reworked. Okay, so we have our Witchwood icon. We have a light source. Let's head into the horror caves. Now, the important thing to keep in mind here is a new horror. It's, I believe, called the Unspeakable. 
but I can't say for 100% sure if that's going to be its actual name versus what it actually is. I will admit, these things, uh, their animations are kind of weird, but for what they are, it makes sense. Alright. Okay, so now we're back. This guy shouldn't bug me again. Yes, I think I'm fully prepared. Alright, so now, as you can see, the bats are here, the cave horrors are here. Uh, they automatically attack you. Now, as you see, not too bad. And look, it dropped something different already. I got a coconut. Uh, Grammy. Uh, yeah, gr Grammy. Ah, words fail me. Grimy Lantodime. But the K4 itself doesn't look too much different. Uh, they still seem to drop herbs pretty good. Uh, it seems like that's their main focus so far is still herbs. They drop a lot more gold than they used to. I remember that used to be very scarce. Uh, and these new ones are slayable off task. And I, yep, they are called the Unspeakable Horror. I can already see them in the distance. Teak logs, that ain't too bad. Now we're going to go over there. We're going to kill a few of the Unspeakables. Uh, because, whoa. 11k, holy smokes. Now that is a drop and a half. Alright, so they are weak to magic. So I am fighting them with the wrong kind of combat stat. So that is going to take into account as how effective I am at attacking them. However, they do look pretty cool. I uh, will say that. Already, first kill, Black Mask. <laughs> no, that's pretty cool. I'm sorry. I don't care who you are. That's pretty cool. It looks like the Black Mask also got a rework uh, as far as its appearance goes. <clears throat> uh, but as you can see, these things are not overly hard to fight, but you can see it does require a bit more combat but now if I was using magic this would be a lot better but the drops are definitely better than they used to be and I am quite happy with this so this is this is definitely a big jump from the cave horrors but it is a acceptable jump, if you ask me. Now the rock fragments, like I said, could be a spoiler. I could be forgetting something from a quest. I'm not sure which. But as you can see, they are kind of AFK. If you have a high enough combat level, that is, though. I wouldn't recommend coming here, fighting them uh, willy-nilly without, you know, any worry. But they they don't seem too bad. However, right now I'm getting more into the big group of them here. So we'll see how this goes. I kind of want to see what some of their drops are. There's four ruby necklaces. Uh, so far it's just been herbs. Uh, grimy ones. Coins. Coins are always good. But, coins nonetheless. <coughs> so, we'll kill a couple more here. See how it goes. And yeah, more ruby necklace. So there's a little bit difference than before. Because it used to be more focused on gems. But 
but now we got a nice healthy mix of <coughs> uh, actually better herbs at least better herbs than I remember coins definitely a lot of coins so this will make their slayer tasks a lot more beneficial now you see these have a lot of the same actions as a regular cave horror so they probably just have better loot drops but that's about it for this part so let's go ahead and get to safety and get out of here this way I can go ahead <coughs> and continue with the rest of the video all right so let's check out the rest of the update for this month shall we okay so we already seen the horrors they're pretty cool the the drops are definitely better but one of the biggest drops to be able to get is a new tradable scare tactics now if i remember correctly these are able to be traded with a lower level or free player yep it even has it right here and these scare tactic booklets uh have um, ability you can learn i don't know if it's one perth you know set or if it's you know you get to learn it as many as you want because uh, there's the dig site tome which where you learn a lot of abilities and there, there's like the appraisal where you learn one so you know I, I i couldn't tell you there but there's called shock which is a magic level three horror which is magic level 15. the moralize ranged level three and route ranged level 15. and it says who knows what other portents you may still find so there might be more stuff that they are not saying so do keep that in mind there's also blend with the shadows which if you're not familiar is well it's with the solomon general store and all of the shadow items are actually included they're back so if you guys do want a shadow outfit go ahead and get them uh the shadow drake Drake and the Shadow Gorilla pets are also included in this. And it is a time limited sale for all shadow items, so do keep that in mind. They will be going away yet again. The Game Blast raised over 100 pounds, well, 100,000 pounds for special effects, so that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's going to be new RS links. Uh, for the official RuneScape, Old School, RuneScape, and Jagged's channels. Uh, it does have it say it here in the following domains. <clears throat> There's also Loosescape this month, which remember is an additional clue scroll based upon your level, which goes from anywhere from uh, the easy clue scroll all the way up to the potential of a master clue scroll. And... There is the guaranteed drop on Tuesday, March 13th of 1700 UTC game time. Fungineering with Maj Shogun and Shawnee. And Sunday, March 18th at 1900 UTC, PVM with Ma Lee. Both Loosecape, both guaranteed. And there's a bunch of guaranteed community events as well for like bosses, Q&As. Uh, throughout the week, there's something going on at least once per day, even on Sunday. Uh, but without any further ado, let's get into the patch notes. Okay, so graphical Virago shadows during phase transition once again appear, and as expected, the rodomatic spot animations no longer play while fishing for sailfish. This makes the swift sailfish spot distinguishable. The Fury Shark outfit animation no longer play when fishing for jellyfish or and sailfish. The Whirlpool oh, skills the Indies in mini games. The Whirlpool at Deep Sea Fishing Hub now tracks title progress correctly. A bang option has been added to the ladders near NPC Greg Groggy Herring in the Deep Sea Fishing Hub so that players can 
interact with him in Java. Uh, the fishing icon has been added to mouse over on all the fishing spots in Deep Sea Fishing Hub. The anti-griefing area has been mapped down at the side of the fishing hub, so cannons and similar items can no longer be placed. Good move. Uh, the streak timer for during frenzy fishing now refreshes when clicking the spot rather than after successfully flinging a fish. The message in a bottle item now gives players the option to choose which boost they want rather than applying one at random. The sea monster's message has been updated to avoid confusion when using a raw fish in which he isn't interested. Blue blubber jellyfish now heal 750 per eat, not 1k. And this is what I was actually talking about earlier. The jellyfish actually have three total eats uh, for the heals. So initially, they were healing 3,000 <laughs> with, you know, no adrenaline consumption. Now, they heal 750 per eat which is still quite substantial, but it's not quite as overpowered as it was before, and the other ones still heal 500, but they don't consume adrenaline. And it counts as three bits, so it's important to remember that. Prom balls are now obtainable through all fishing activities at the Deep Sea Fishing Hub. The left-click Use option has been removed from the entry rowboat and replaced with the default left-click Bank. Royal Great White Sharks can now be used to feed the sea monster in the deep sea fishing encounter. The Death Beer distraction at the deep sea fishing hub now consistently gives XP. The cooldown timer when fishing for electrified jellyfish can no longer be reset. Sailfish now work with calorie bombs. Uh, two previously problematic squares in the fishing frenzy area of the deep sea fishing hub now display the fishing frenzy UI as expected. Side of the porters now work with the deep sea fishing spots. Ice dies are no longer removed when repairing the wand appraisal, the imperium core, the kaposh of Temekin, and the kaposh of Elidnus. Exiting chat with an NPC after showing them complete puzzle box no longer reshuffles the puzzle box. Oh my god, that would suck. Uh, players can no longer consume multiple puzzles skipping tickets by accident. Teleport checks no longer prevent players from teleporting with the Globetrotter outfit as intended. However, they still deduct the charge. The puzzle picking code for Elite Clues has been updated to make puzzle boxes more rare and Celtic uh, yeah, Celtic knots more common. Uh, to be closer to the old chances, the distribution will be much closer to 50-50 now. The chance of a wizard has not been changed. Using an augmentation dissolver on augment augmented limitless staves or Elite Robin Hood gear, now correctly retains the item's upgraded state and just removes the augmentation. Quest challenges and achievements. The following quality of life changes have been made to the rum deal. A skybox has been added to Brain Death Island. Uh, a bit of a fence has been removed. Sorry, guys. <laughs> a bit of fence has been removed from the side of the factory so that players don't need to run around while the whole building. The hopper on the stagnant water pool are now left click friendly. The OP has been removed from damaging farm package, uh, farming patches. The embassies and zombies outside the factory now appear when you're first on the first floor. The quest conclusion now provides reward lamps instead of a flat XP. The following quality of life changes have been made for Cabin Fever. Both cutscenes are now updated and skippable. Rogue wooden floor textures were removed from the map edges during the ship battle scene. There is now also a skybox and an extended sea map. Pirate NPCs are now aggressive on the enemy ship. The custom interface within 
the repair and weapon boxes have been updated and now give players the exact items needed when clicked. Planks from the repair box are now stackable. The quest conclusion now provides reward lamps instead of flat XP. A new left click flow has been added to the gunpowder explosion when operating as slash repairing the cannon. The plunder mechanic has changed as such. The barrel of the box has been removed. Players are now given a simple lot of five plunder from the chest. Players no longer need to wait for the chest to respawn. The chat and quest logs have been updated accordingly. Uh, the when this cavern's rocking achievement no longer completes when fishing rock tails during deep sea fishing. And the Globetrotter achievement now correctly unlocks purchasing the full Globetrotter outfit. Other filters now sort correctly within the World Select menu. The Orlando Smith hat broadcast is now global. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, NXT animations were optimized for multi-core processors. Players should no longer hear audio dropouts crackling when player on when playing on a single core machine or when a CPU is under high load from another program. An issue was fixed when flickering slash disappearing particles on low end slash well, low end AMD graphics cards. An issue was fixed with a bug with the Avatar Viewer. Last week's hot fixes, the death board beard distraction at the deep sea fishing hub now consistently gives XP. Sign of the Porter now work with the deep sea fishing spots. The cooldown timer when fishing electrified jellyfish can no longer be reset. Using an augmentation, augmentation dissolver on augmented limitless stabs or elite Robin Hood gear now correctly retains the item upgraded stat and just removes the augmentation. So, this has been actually a big week when you think about it, especially for Slayers. So that'll actually do for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, later guys.